Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of a problem which is an application of Euclid's division lemma from real numbers class 10th. Prove that one of any three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. So here positive integers means we know that the numbers which are having positive signs. So 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. These are called positive integers and consecutive positive integers means the numbers which are in an order like 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 11, 25, 26, 27 like these numbers are called consecutive positive integers. So let n and plus 1 and plus 2 be 3 consecutive positive integers. For example if n is equal to 3 then n plus 1 is 4 and plus 2 is 5. So 3, 4, 5 these are consecutive positive integers. So we have to assume n and plus 1 and plus 2 be 3 consecutive positive integers. So if n is divisible by 3, here one of the three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. So here b the divisor is 3, let q be the quotient and r be the remainder. Then apply Euclid's division lemma on n, 3. Then n is equal to 3q plus r where 0 is less than r equal to r is less than 3. Therefore r is equal to 0, 1, 2. From 1, n is in the form of 3q plus r, where r can be 0, 1, 2. So, apply r values. First, if r is equal to 0, n is equal to 3q. Here, r is equal to 0 and n plus 1 is equal to 3. Here, n is 3q. So, 3q plus 1 and n plus 2 is equal to 3q plus 2. So, from these three consecutive integers, 3q, 3q plus 1, 3q plus 2, 3q is divisible by 3. Because 3 is divisible by 3, so 3q are multiples of 3. So 3q is divisible by 3. But if you add 3 multiples to 1 and 2, those are not divisible by 3. But 3q plus 1 and 3q plus 2 are not divisible by 3. You can uh, see with an example. For example, if q is equal to 1, then n is equal to 3. Next number, next consecutive integer is 4 and next one is 5. So out of these 3 numbers, only 3 is divisible by 3. 3. Similarly, if you take r is equal to 1, n is equal to 3q plus 1 and plus 1 is equal to 3q plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3q plus 2. Then n plus 2 is equal to 3q plus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3q plus 3. So you can take uh, common 3 as common. So 3 into q plus 1. If you observe these 3 consecutive positive in integers, only 3 into q plus 1 is divisible by 3. So here 3q plus 1 and 3q plus 2 are not divisible by 3. You can see with an example. For example, n is equal to 4. Rq is equal to 1. Then n is equal to 4. Then the next positive integer is 5. And next one is 6. So out of 4, 5, 6, only 6 is divisible by. Here 6 is this one. So only 6 is divisible by 3. Next, if r is equal to 2, n is equal to 3q plus 2, n plus 1 is equal to 3q plus 2 plus 1, that is 3q plus 3. So, you can write 3q plus 3 as 3 into q plus 1. Then, n plus 2 is equal to 3q plus 2 plus 2, that is 3q plus 4. So, out of these three po consecutive positive integers, only 3 into q plus 1 is divisible by 3, that is n plus 1. So, here also you can take an example as n n is equal to 5. If you take q as 1, then n is equal to 5. Next one is 6 and next number is 7. So, out of these three numbers, only 6 is divisible by 3. But 3q plus 2, this is 3q plus 2 and 3q plus 4 are not divisible by 3. Therefore, only one of three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. This is the practice question.